Hey, Geezer Garage fans, we're out here today. We're at the Uncle Tito's ninth annual car show. This thing is massive. It gets bigger every year. I think there's probably going to be at least 200 to 300 cars here today. I brought the old 56 out here, guys. I introduced you to this car a few months ago on the channel. Um, again, we're going to do one video just on it, but you can take another sneak peek. Uh, we're going to walk around this show and see if we can find find this car that we of course that's our opinion you know and we're chevy people so we might be a little biased on that but uh yeah let's walk around with us let's check this out okay everybody you're gonna hear some noise in the background a lot of cars and multiple bikes coming in but after this uh chevy station wagon is a friend of mine you can see he tries to keep it with the patina in there and you look up on top he's got his speed and his golf clubs and everything yeah, great guy. I've known this guy for a long time. Met him probably 20, 25 years ago. He had several cars, but this is one of his favorites. We'll see if we can round him up, let him talk about the car a little bit. So now we've got a Camaro 68 convertible, nice car. And there's this gentleman too. He works at the local auto parts store. Great guy. Got a T-bucket. Nice 57 Chevy. Two of them in a row here. Photo. You don't see very many of those. Moving along here. That's, what's great about this car show, you'll see everything and anything. You see, you got an old one-ton truck up here. You got a Z28 Camaro, Syed, a Rambler, another coupe. You even got a Ford pickup truck to the right of that one. Nice Ford pickup truck, rust free. So you'll see just about anything here. I'm actually going to do a one week's video on this guy, Chris, the shop. This thing is amazing. This is Bahama Yellow. This is an all aluminum big block. But I, we don't want to reveal too much because we're going to go to shop and he's going to give us the whole story on this car. And he's got a 67 GTX. That's a great car, but we're going to do a separate video on that, so stay tuned. Okay, what we're looking at here is a 1964 Fury. We're going to talk to the guy in a minute. He's going to give us the story on this car, but he's owned a 50 three years it's a 426 street wedge take a look at the motor here 426 street wedge dual quads funny story about this this guy was working for my uncle at his gas station when he bought it so 71 1971 he's owned it let's go talk to him and see if he can tell us a little story on it. well we just showed you guys this 1964 fury with that 426 street wedge is that what you call it Kenny? This is an old friend of mine. He actually, he just told me the story. I'll let him tell a little bit, but in brief, he actually worked at my uncle's gas station. How old were you? 19. 19 years, 19 years old, bought this car. So a little connection there. Uh, he owned his own radiator shop for years. But now he's retired, enjoying life, and working on cars. So, so what, uh, tell us the story about this car. You know, how you bought it, and what you paid for, and all that good stuff. I... Actually, I used to see it run around LA. The guy pulled in the gas station one evening, and I said, what'd you do with that car? And he goes, it's for sale. I said, how much? He goes, 650 bucks. Wow. Now I've got it. Yeah? <laughs> nice. So what'd you have to do to it? Um, it had a little bit of rust on it. The bottom of the front fenders were rusting. So I go to the dealer, order two brand new fenders for it, $75 each <laughs> for the fenders. Those were the days. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Had it repainted back in 1988. Same paint job? Yep. Wow, looks good. It held up good. Yeah. Well, good. Well, thanks, Buck Kenny. Nice Thank seeing you again. And, uh, go Courtney's Gas Town. Yep. <laughs> we'll talk no, to you guys Courtney's later. Clown Town. Courtney's Clown Town. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I, I work there too. All right, everybody. We've only showed you a very small portion of this car show. It gets bigger every year. So let's take a walk. Okay, we're looking at a couple of late model muscle cars. We got a 69 Camaro SS 350. Beautiful car. Probably restored beside it. Ford Mustang 1970. We got an old Henry J. Sure well, choose green beside that. Lion green, whatever you want to call it. Got another Camaro, looks like a 67. I'm only guessing. I'm not a Camaro expert. You guys tell me if I'm wrong, but it looks like a 67. We got about a 65 or 66 Ford. 289. Got another Camaro 350. Got a nice 
Chevelle. That's just a taste of what's out here. We're not going to film them all, but you guys get out here. Okay, now I'll tell you the variety that this car show has. Take the gander. This thing is unbelievable. Look at that. 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 Alright, this thing is detailed to the house. Real nice vehicle. Obviously a street of oak because it has a license plate. Probably a kit uh, old, uh, chassis system welded together. If you have a nice bolt, I can be detailed nicely. I like the red accents on the front axle of the tubes. Alright guys, hey, we're looking at another friend of mine, Gail. He's on the auto parts store. He's got a 68 El Camino small block. He's had this car, the same as me, probably over 50 years. It's a nice car, all black. Beautiful car. We'll talk to him a little bit about how he got it, how he purchased it, and how many years he's had it. So let's go talk to him. I'm sitting with my buddy Gail here, who uh, we just showed you his uh, El Camino. And uh, we used to work a lot with Gail because Gail owned an auto parts store. And uh, when I was building my 56, which you guys know about, we did a lot of work with him. So uh, tell us, Gail, what about this El Camino? I think it's high school, right? Oh, yeah, I had it had since high school. Bought it in 1971 from a guy who was drafted and was being sent overseas to Vietnam. And uh, made a deal on it and I offered him a figure on it. He said he had to go. so. I bought it and it's it's been mine ever since. Do anything to the motor, small block? That's a small block. That's yeah. all I could afford insurance for at the time because I was yeah. still in school. That's a small block. I've done a little bit of work on the heads and put a cam in it and some head work, some ported and polished for the heads and then a bigger set of springs yeah. and put an intake and a carb on it. And yeah. Yeah, full, put a four speed in it. It was a three nice. speed car. Okay. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a work in progress. And who's this? Who's this here? This is, this is my dog Andy. She's my little sweetie. Yeah, so he's owned a car longer than I've owned my 56. He's above yeah. my 56 and 73, so he's had it 63 or 53 years, right? Mm -hmm. Somewhere yeah. there. Something so. like that. All right, well, nice car, Gail. Thanks for getting okay. on the channel. And I appreciate, appreciate it. it. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, yeah, see you, buddy. Yeah, be good, man. Okay, you too. Bye, Andy. Ladies, these are dry. A lot of older people, a lot of old gearheads. Well,